we're going to use integration by parts to evaluate the integral of e to the 3x times sine of 5x. Now we're going to need uh, two formulas for that, two integration formulas. The first one is that the integral of sine of ax is equal to minus 1 over a times cosine of ax. And the second formula is that the integral of cosine of ax is equal to 1 over a times the sine of ax. And this is true for any constant a not equal to 0. So we'll use integration by parts. Let's recall what that is. Integration by parts formula says that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And the idea is to express the integral we're trying to solve as the integral of u dv, then find du, find v, express it then as the right hand side of this formula and then use the integral on the right either if it is easier or somehow it leads to the solution. So let's go ahead and start by selecting a u and a dv. Our integral remember is the integral of e to the 3x times sine 5x. Now the good thing here it doesn't matter what you select for your u what you select for your TV, the problem will be solved either way. So I'm going to select u to be e to the 3x and dv to be sine of 5x dx. I could have done the opposite, could have picked u to be sine of 5x and dv to be e to the 3x, would have done the same, this problem would work out exactly the same way. So du is equal to 3 e to the 3x dx. And then using the formula above, v is equal to minus 1 fifth times cosine of 5x. So then we're going to express this integral as this, so this, this is our integral u dv, u times v, so u times v is minus 1 fifth e to the 3x cosine of 5x minus the integral of v du, but notice v has a minus in it, so minus a minus will be plus 3 fifths times the integral of e to the 3x cosine of 5x dx. Now the integral on the right is no easier than the integral on the left, but we should not give up. What we should do instead, I'm going to take this integral without the constant in front of it, 3 fifths. We'll come back to that. Once we solve this, we'll multiply the answer by 3 fifths. So I'm going to look at now the integral of e to the 3x cosine of 5x and apply integration by parts technique here as well. The only thing you need to remember is that remember we picked u to be e to the 3x in the first integral. We have to be consistent otherwise this problem will not work out. So we want to be consistent and select u to be e to the 3x in this case also and that leaves dv equal to cosine of 5x dx. And so du once again as it was before is 3 e to the 3x dx and v is going to be 1 fifth sine of 5x. So now this integral equals to u times v, the new u and the new v. So this is 1 fifth e to the 3x times sine of 5x minus the integral of v du. So this would be minus, multiply v and du, we'll have 3 fifths in front and then the integral of e to the 3x times the sine of 5x dx. So now let's put these two together and notice that um, even though the integral, we came back to the original integral, again we should not give up and think this problem is wrong. We'll see how this problem will work out in just a second. Let's see, the original integral was e to the 3x sine 5x. It was equal to minus 1 fifth e to the 3x cosine of 5x plus 3 fifths 
times the integral of e to the 3x cosine of 5x, but this integral has been solved at least partially to this part. So we'll multiply 3 fifths by 1 fifth e to the 3x sine 5x minus 3 fifths times the integral of e to the 3x times sine 5x. And now let's see what we have. Let's simplify this. The original integral is on the left. It's e to the 3x times sine of 5x equals minus 1 fifth e to the 3x cosine 5x plus 3 over 25 e to the 3x sine 5x minus 9 over 25 times the integral of e to the 3x sine 5x dx. Well, you think now that we have the same integral on the right as we do on the left. Seems like we've got nowhere. We did two applications of integration by parts and came back to the same integrals we started with. Some students, when they look at this, they think, well, I'm doing something wrong and there's no way out of this. But in fact, the answer is looking right at us. Notice that the left-hand side is just 1 times the integral we're trying to solve for. On the right, we have negative 9 25th of the same integral. So I'm going to take this integral, negative 9 over 25 times this integral, and move it over to the left-hand side to go along with the original integral. Look what we have. We have 1, which we can write as 25 over 25 times the integral of e to the 3x times sine of 5x plus 9 over 25 times the same integral e to the 3x times sine of 5x and that's equal to minus 1 fifth e to the 3x cosine of 5x plus 3 over 25 e to the 3x sine 5x. 9 over 25 and 25 over 25 is 34 over 25 times the integral of e to the 3x times sine of 5x dx equal to minus 1 fifth e to the 3x cosine of 5x plus 3 over 25 e to the 3x sine 5x. All we have to do now, multiply both sides by 25 over 34. Multiplying the left hand side by 25 over 34 gives us exactly the integral we're trying to solve for. The integral of e to the 3x sine of 5x. 25 over 34 times minus 1 fifth gives us minus 5 over 34 e to the 3x cosine of 5x. 25 over 34 times 3 over 25 is 3 over 34 e to the 3x sine 5x. That's the solution. We can now add constant of integration c and we have solved this problem indirectly. We solved this in a manner unlike what we've seen before. That is, we didn't actually solve the integral directly, but we were able to use integration by parts twice, come back to the original integral, move it over to the left-hand side, have a constant of 1, and then have our solution.